Yeah, that's right. Straight to it, huh? Uh, straight into bronze and straight onto a team. And already my teammates are under fire. And already I need to get there and help my teammates out. And already I've taken someone down and they're already on the floor. Even though I got an assist. <laughs> this was dirty. I hate this. I was just like, I'll finish this guy off. And there he is in the corner. Dirty teammate tactics. This Wraith, no doubt, better than my teammates, better than me, certainly. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this was it. And she's dead. Yes. Clutch there. Clutch from Birdhounds. Real clutch. Didn't expect to survive that. It's been a complete day of losing. A complete day of no one um, supporting. And a day of everyone leaving as soon as they die, which is why I'm in ranked. I'm in ranked because I'm so sick of teammates leaving as soon as they die. I could craft their banners, I could pick up their banners, but they just kept leaving one after another over and over and over again. So I came on ranked for a bit of a different situation where they'd lose rank if they left. It would be more advantageous for them to stay. So I thought... See how it goes, see how it is, and go from there, basically. Enemy noise out there. Gave up yep, position. my ears definitely heard that that was a res. Someone pulled off a res, which means that they're in the center of the map pulling off the res. I can never remember what this place is called. I'm sure it has a name. Um, but yeah, it's just that center of building that spins. So that's where all the fights happen. That's where everyone is. And we had a Bloodhound, so I thought, if we can get there fast, and we do have an Octane, so if we can get there fast, Bloodhound picks up the scent, we chase down that team, we kill those people, easy kills, maybe the res one, maybe the res two, but they still be pretty weak for now, and I see no one running up the slopes, so... Yep, Bloodhound's already picked up the trail, so... Excellent, we're gonna find these guys, we're gonna kill them, easy kill, easy win, right? Well, mm, yes and no. So at this point, I thought it would be a good idea to give up the high ground and finish off that kill, regardless of the fact that I knew that there was another enemy behind me that they'd reloaded, and they'd probably shoot me in the back and kill me right here and now. But I thought at the time, what a great idea, and I paid heavily for it. Thankfully, my teammates were there to back me up, at least to a little bit of an extent, and allowed me to heal up while I, they took the beating in my place, allowing them to take the higher ground and me to uh, try my best to fend off a higher opponent, which I always suck at. Odd that they didn't move there, but I guess they were aiming down their sights. And besides, that allowed me time to heal up, my team allowed to move in, and us just a bit more time to... Okay, alright, mate. Isn't it great when you have the wrong gun out when you're ready to shoot? Another stick with a whirly gig, time to move in for the kill. And, yeah, the Wraith decided to Wraith away. Cracked her... Couldn't follow up, but my team needed a bit more time to heal up, pick up, swap up, and then move in. And so did I. Look at my shields. They're, they're non-existent. I don't have any bats, so it'll be a hard slog back all the way up to full health. A new kill leader. We have our target. My ultimate is ready. We move on my mark. Ah, here's the wraith. Must be. We'll get her now. Except this does not seem like one rift. This is a full team. And even though I just stuck someone, there's more out there. So, yeah, I got lucky with that thermite, not going to lie. Uh, just trying to keep people back and trying to get away myself. Messed up my ult. 
It worked before, so it would work again, except this team had a way better aim. So it was time to fall back with a ring closing in, an airstrike just about to come down and hit me in the head. I thought, hmm, maybe it's a good time to skadoosh and move to the left. Uh, my teammates, not so keen to follow. Well, the Octine was. At this point, I started asking why the Bloodhound hadn't used his ult yet. Um, and it did kind of get to me, so prepare for some ragey moments up ahead. Bloodhounds, use your ult! Use your ult, Bloodhounds! There's smoke you can see through! Oh my god, use your ult, man! Use your ultimates! They had smoke, we couldn't see them, we could see through with the smoke. Not great damage from my teammates, not great damage from me, but the fact that neither of them really used their ultimate once kind of said that they were new to these characters and they were probably new to the bronze and probably stayed in bronze. So I hope for better teammates the next time. So yeah, bronze is bronze and teammates are teammates. And after being sent back to the lobby many, many times, after teammates either hot drop get killed and leave immediately even in a ranked game or uh, just simply hot drop into hell die in five seconds and then start blaming their teammates who don't have weapons or just running in grabbing every single gun in the place and then realizing that the team have left the hot drop zone to run around only to be killed by a random straggler team but you'll still get rank points for that because they stayed alive longer, which is kind of annoying because you feel like they shouldn't get anything for not doing anything except just surviving. Uh, so yeah, landing outside, probably not a bad idea at this point. And whereas I never really liked to take the scout, and I really don't like the scout that much, I thought, may as well put some time in it and see if I can get something out of it. <sighs> And the RE45 is always a nice backup weapon. It does a lot of damage. If I could find a hammer point, then uh, that would be great. And I can actually uh, get some solid damage done with it. As you can see, I'm staying with Ash. She is part of my challenges this week. So I thought, why not just stay with Ash? And why not just continue with it? And just see how I go. And it's not been the worst character in the world. I use the portals pretty well. I've had really great operations with a whirly gig recently where it sticks and gets people almost every time. So I was feeling pretty confident overall. That was a mistake. <laughs> So after a quick check of the map, Concourse was where it's happening. Now I've mastered Concourse a few times. I've fought through Concourse, I know it in and out. I'm pretty good with Concourse, I know what I'm doing there. There's no way in hell that I'll ever be downed in Concourse. We attack. Direct your fire here. So as you can hear from those distant shots, we were a little bit late to the party. The fight was still going on from ages ago. That means either another team had moved in, that same team was firing again, or we were just very late to the party and were about to third party on someone else. So many death boxes here. And I thought, that's it. That team is finished and this is the last team there. <laughs> so mistaken on this. Prepare for a senior moment and a whole lot of rage that follows. Did you see it? Well, I sure didn't. The giant octane bat that was sticking out that vending machine. If you didn't see it, here it is. And there he is, charging all his shields. Me walking right past. 
I did quickly correct and try and get in. By that point, the team had come in behind. However... Come on, move in, move in, move in! Move in! And they're not moving in because there's loads of gas. Doritus, why are you so far back? So I thought, why not charge my shields and then go in immediately without healing up any of my... Yeah, that's what happens when you don't heal up. Oh, they all have no shield! Move in! How did I know this? From the scan that was about 15 minutes ago, after which they might have shield swapped or charged their shields, so not great call. Footsteps left. Nice. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And just to clarify, I was saying uh, that to myself about myself, because I missed some key shots there, some key positions. I did not take into account the full extra teams. I did not take into account the gas. Uh, I did find my hammer point for my gun, thankfully. Uh, but, yeah, I was less than stellar. And from this point onwards, I vowed to put my teammates first and not be so much of a coward and a charge and a die hard for the death. I just wanted to win at this point. I was desperate for a win. Perhaps too desperate for a win. So, with the ring about to close, it was time to move, finish and looting up grabbing what we need, and then moving on. Except I heard footsteps to the left after I took three steps forward. I am repairing myself. That location interests me. Quiet. I hear targets stirring this way. Target acquired here. And that's why I really hate this scout, because I just can't use it very well. But it's an octane, which means we're going to have to chase him pretty hard in order to catch him. But chase him, we will. At this point, a decision had to be made. Did we pursue and continue on the rail, which led outside the ring against an Octane who could run faster than us, heal faster than us, and probably burn through all his health packs? Or did we retreat to the other side instead of going for the kill? I really wanted to kill him. I really did, but it wasn't worth it. I instead ordered my team back, and we'd run around get good position in the ring, and be in a better position, regardless of the fact that there was an Octane there. Now, I did think that he might make it. With the rails, with his boosts, he'd probably make it. But one Octane on his own, uh, the rest of the team somewhere nearby. Maybe we could get him, but we'd be in a bad position, or so I thought. So I thought, let's try and cut him off, or if not, let's move along. So my teammate mentioned enemies over there, so instead we headed to this side of the ring right here. Yep, there was a lot of shooting around here. Now I did think maybe that Octane would be coming from this side on the left and slip through. Uh, if he was coming, he was keeping a low profile and not boosting, not making much sound of any kind, not using the rails. 
So instead we moved on towards the fighting. I wanted to get behind that jet on the left or whatever you call that. Is that a ship or a like, space? But there was some decent fighting and we were in a nice position to get a third party on here. Get up a bit of damage and not actually engage too hard against these guys as they were right out in the open for us. So uh, then they did duck behind cover and so did we. We had a nice bit of cover all round. But again, with the scout, my shots. Let's just say I need some more work on the scout. So I did think that was a lifeline pod. It turns out to be a replicator, but someone was trying to replicate, so I stopped that from happening before I promptly retreated and waited for my team. Because <laughs> I realized there was enemies up there. Now this might have been the same squad that res that octane. Maybe they snuck around over to there. They were in a great position. We were not. We did manage to pick off someone who was an octane. I'm not sure if that was the same guy we were shooting at originally. But uh, these guys were up the hill, we were in a good position, um, but the ring would m soon close over them and we were suddenly in a not great position as I turned out. That other team was still down over there and we were just poking at each other, but neither of us wanted to move on that team because the other team up top would come down and kick us in the backside. So we were stuck in this sort of mid area where we were trying to take out those guys while taking out these guys while holding position and it led to some serious scuffling it was uh yeah lots of scuffling but someone uh, at one point pushed a bit too far on their team which gave us a bit of a shot And yeah, that was a bit of a waste of a huge amount of ammo, but I just didn't want them resing that guy. So now it was two versus one with some great shots on their team. That really hurt. That really hurt. And we're still in full view of that other team across the way. How they didn't pick me off here, I will never know. But I'm guessing they're also healing up and the ring is still coming in. With 49 seconds on the clock, I decided to make another terrible decision and do a full send against the team up on the ridge and hope that we would be uh, in good stead to take them out. However, gas, 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 in the wrong spot. And my push nearly cost my team everything right here. But once again, I'm learning from my mistake, trying to heal up before the fact. That other team surprisingly didn't third party. They instead took the zip rail while we were fighting these guys and went straight up the ramp ahead. <laughs> yeah, I think that Wraith was just as shocked as I was to see her up there. This guy was an easy kill, which meant there was a death box for someone else to take. And my teammate could easily shield swap, but instead he decided to heal up. And I did much the same. 
needing some light ammo, so I took everything that there was to offer. Did think about swapping out the alternator. Also grabbed that energy mag because I know that my teammates are using energy and then one of them could probably use a gold mag at this point if they don't have it. And the rubbish shots with a scout continue with only one hit on target. Should have really changed to something like an assault rifle, but never mind. I've got the hammer point on the RE45, and I know that there's still a few teams left in this fight. We're still on the outskirts. We can third party this to victory. Cells again! It would take too long to charge all the way up. I did consider swapping shields, but my teammates had already swapped out one shield already, so I instead grabbed the bats, which was a lot quicker, and then finally decided to change to something that would be good close range rather than something that I couldn't shoot. So this was it, the last two teams. A bit of a rubbish portal. But uh, as long as we held the top ground, didn't drop down, and didn't put our backs to the shield, and with the closing ring, we'd be fine. What I really needed now was not to mess up in any way. Two became one, and the Pathfinder riding the end of the ring. But I was confident he had this. He had this. Say hello to the four oh first. Ooh, GG man, you had that at the end. <sighs> That's some good stuff. We got pinned down, we didn't lose our heads. It's nice. At this point this guy said thanks for the carry. However, I had an answer to that. Yeah. It's all you at the end there. All you at the end. It's <laughs> all so you, man. Thanks for yourself. GG. Take care. Carrie, you look at your damage, man. Carrie, come on. Give yourself some praise. Give yourself some praise, man. You deserve it. You deserve that.